In this video, I'll show you how to connect your broader MFC L2710DW to your computer using one of these USB cable if you do not want to use the Wi-Fi. This cable is not included in the box with the printer. You'll have to purchase it separately and uh, just make sure you get the right USB connection. Most computers these days only have USB Type-C. This one over here has a USB Type-A, so this is why I have this cable. I'll put links in the description towards Amazon to get your cable if you don't already have one. We need to download the driver on your PC computer first and then we'll connect them. So let me show you how this is done. So on your computer, you're gonna go on Google and type the name of your printer. This is the easiest way to get the driver really. So mine over here is an MFC dash L two seven one zero D W. One of the first result should be the website, the official website of Broader. Here I have Broader Canada and Broader USA. You can choose either of these. If one of the links starts with the name downloads, click on it, it will go directly to the download page. If you don't see a download page, click on the regular link. I'll show you how to get there. Go down on the page. Now they'll try to sell you the printer. That's not what we want. And over here, you're going to see support and downloads. Click on it. Go down. Find downloads and driver. And we'll be on the same page as if we would have clicked the download link. Then go down. No. Go down and select full driver and software package. Go down, select agree. And the download will start. Be patient, it can take several minutes. Come back in 10 minutes just to make sure and we'll continue the setup. Press yes. Select your language. I'll keep English United States. Press next. Press accept. Next. And now we, we, and now we have to select local connection USB. Click on this. And before pressing next, it's time to connect the USB cable to your printer and computer. So go ahead, let's start by the computer. Okay, and this other end. On the back of your printer, if you go on the right side, you're gonna notice a USB port. This is the lower one here. I'll just connect the cable. Make sure you go all the way in. Then press next. Press next again. They tell you to connect your printer to your computer, but we already did it. So I'm going to press next. And then over here, installation type, you can press custom and select the softwares you would like to download and install. In my case, I just want the printer and the scanner driver. I don't care about the rest. So I'll uncheck the other options, but you can keep them if you really want them. In my opinion, they're not really that useful. So this is why I uncheck them. After pressing next, let the computer do its job. It will install everything you have selected. And usually in a few minutes, it will be done. So let's come back when this process is uh, completed. Press install. If you see this pop-up screen. Here, press next. Press next, press finish. You can close the window that opens. Now open any documents on your PC or Mac that you wish to print. Press the print button. Make sure that up here where it says printer, you have selected your actual broader printer and not another one. Then change the settings if they need to be changed and press the print button. By printing using a USB cable, everything is done quite quickly. In about 13 seconds, the print should come out. 
here we go now what if you want to use the scanner open the scan lid put your paper facing down with the top part of your page towards the left side and then align this corner over here with the corner of the printer simply by gliding until both are touching close the lid you can use the top document feeder as well if you wish to use it instead put your documents facing up okay let's say this is my documents with multiple pages facing up again with the top towards the left and glide it over there if you want to scan on a pc computer you need to go over here where it says type here to search and type scan open the scan app if you do not see go on the microsoft store and download it it's made by microsoft many computers comes with it included but if yours didn't you need to download it and it's quite easy to use once you open it go in scanners select your scanner from this list source if you're using the flatbed select flatbed if you're using the top document feeder that i showed you select feeder then choose your um, the file type you would want to um, have after scanning and then press scan button here once this is done you're gonna get scan was saved to desktop you can press view to view whatever got scanned go on your desktop and this is where your files will be thanks for watching i hope this was useful if so please leave a like subscribe check my amazon affiliate links down below if you want to get ink and usb cable, paper for your printer, and I'll see you in the next video.